Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step video on how to solve osmolality questions. We'll be going over a few examples to show you a step-by-step -step method on how to solve such questions. Example 1. A solution contains 1% of anhydrous dextrose in water for injection. How many milliosmoles per liters are represented by this concentration? Given that the molecular weight of anhydrous dextrose is 180. Our first step is to find how many grams of anhydrous dextrose are in 1000 ml of the solution. First, we need to know that 1% uh, of anhydrous dextrose means there's 1 gram per ml. So we have to find out how many grams of this anhydrous dextrose are in 1000 ml. So we have to set up a proportion 1 gram over 100 ml equals x over 1000 ml. If we do our calculations right, we should be able to get 10 grams. Of an hydrous dextrose. That means there are 10 grams of an hydrous dextrose in 1000 ml. Step two is to calculate what the question is actually asking us. The, the question asks us calculate the milliosmoles per liter. So by doing this, we have to use the formula. The formula for uh, milliosmoles per liter is mass in grams over molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times 1000. So we've already calculated the mass in grams, which is 10. We're given the molecular weight of dextrose, which is 180. The only thing we're given is the number of particles. So number of particles will be 1 because dextrose is a non-electrolyte, and it's not going to dissociate into any ion. Step 3 is to plug the values into the equation. So if we plug our values correctly, so we have the mass, which is 10 grams, the molecular weight, which is 180, our number of particles is 1 times 1,000. We should be able to get 56 milliosmoles per liter. Example 2. A solution contains 20 milligrams of calcium, 2 plus ions. How many milliosmoles are represented in 1 liter of the solution? Our first step is to find how many grams of calcium ions are present in 1,000 ml. So, the first thing we need to do is to convert the 20 milligrams to grams. So, how do we do that? We have to multiply 20 milligrams times 1 gram over 1,000 milligrams. We'll get 0 0.02 grams. So, it means 20 milligrams is, is equal to 0 0.02 grams. Our next step is to find the grams of calcium ions that are present in 1,000 ml. So how do we, we have to set up a proportion by writing grams of calci calcium 2 plus ions in 1 liter is equal to 0 0.2 grams of calcium ion over 100 ml equals x over 1,000 ml. If the calculation is right, we should arrive at 0 0.2 grams. So it means the 0 0.2 grams of calcium ions in 1,000 ml. Step two is to calculate the milliosmoles per liter. We, how do we do this? We have to use the formula. The formula for milliosmoles per liter is mass in grams over molecular weight, which is in grams per mole, times number of particles, times 1,000. So we already know our mass in grams, which is 0 0.2 grams. We weren't given the molecular weight of calcium, but it's a thing we need to keep in our mind that we have to know. The molecular weight of calcium is 40. We're not given the number of particles as well. The number of particles is 1 because there's only one calcium ion in, present in this solution. Step 3 is to plug all our values into the equation. And if we do that right, 0 0.2 grams is the mass of the calcium ions, 40 is the molecular weight, times 1, which is the number of particles, times 1,000. We should arrive at 5 milliosmoles per liter.